Hi, it's Cram Cox here from OptiSurface, and I'm going to explain in this video how you set up the GPS receiver from John Deere to export uh, GPS information to OptiWorks. So you should be able to find a page like this. If you can't, the basic steps are to make sure you've got the GPS monitor on, hooked up to the GPS receiver, um, press the setup button, press the Starfire button, and then press the serial RS-233 output button, which should look something like this. See that serial port there? This is from a 3000 receiver. It may have changed since, but basically there should be some settings that look like this serial port. In terms of board rate, that's how fast the information flows. You want to set that to 115200 if you can. If you can't get that option, there should be a 57600 option. Um, but that's basically how fast it is. In terms of output rate, this is how fast the GPS information flows out of the GPS receiver. So it's 10 hertz means 10 times a second a GPS um, reading will come out. So you want it 10 if you can. Some of the older receivers only have 5 here, so you might have to select 5. And then in terms of the messages that come out, you want the GGA ticked on, the GSA ticked on, and the RMC ticked on. They give us the location and also the rotation, uh, like the direction that you're moving. Um, and, and also GSA does the satellite information, tell you how the satellite's constellation's going. So that's the basic settings. Um, once you've got that set up and you've plugged into into OptiWorks you should see the latitude and longitude uh, well, sorry you'll have to have these same settings the board rate in in OptiWorks uh, there will be a let me just show you that so this this number here this board rate has to match the number that you have from the GPS receiver so I just said to use this one here um, in that example and um, so once you have those matched up and you've got the COM port that matched to the COM port that you've configured that's coming in, you might have to try, you could try different ones of these. If it's not working, you'll get a, you'll get a message that can't connect, but just try the other ones until it does work. And then you'll see it connected first when it's connected, and then you can try these. Once you've got the right one of these, you should see information start flowing in here, latitude, longitude, and altitude. That, that'll that start changing multiple times a second. Okay, if you have any troubles, uh, get in contact with us and we'll sort it out. Thank you.